What do you mean no cribby? There's always gonna be cribby. Wouldn't it be funny if Super Mario Wonder had like a bunch of cameo crossovers with other Nintendo pro IPs? I actually think that'd be kind of that'd be kind of cool. Like imagine you just dropping a world because like that whole game's idea is gonna be like who knows what's going on, right? <clears throat> Who even knows what's going on? So like, what if you just drop into a level and it's just... It's just like another Nintendo world. Like, you just drop on Popstar for some reason. It's like, what? That'd be really cool, in my opinion. Although we got... Oh, we got, uh, Pikmin. Chat, I'm thinking, uh... Friday, I'm thinking on early stream. Now, I kind of want to just play Pikmin 4. I didn't play the demo. I kind of want to just play Pikmin 4. And as it happens, I just traded shifts. So I'm working Saturday now, but I have Friday off. So, my plan as it is right now in this very moment in time is... Uh, my gym days are looking like Wednesday night, Thursday morning, and now Friday morning. So I'm gonna go to the gym at like Friday or Friday morning or something. I'm doing my back day, I think. Oh boy, here we go, Sandbird. And then when I get home, I kind of want—I don't know when I want to start the stream, but like I want—I want to play Pikmin 4. I really do. I just want to play the game because it's new Pikmin. And I like—I like Pikmin a lot. I haven't played the demo either. And the longer I procrastinate on it, the more spoilers are gonna show up. And honestly, chat, like I just want to play the game. And I don't really want to like you know, if I'm gonna stream it, I've gotta go kind of ape shit with it. You know what I mean? Because if I don't, because that's it was like Scarlet and Violet. I was really enjoying Scarlet and Violet. Like I, I picked it up, I picked it up, and I thought, you know, I'll give it a shot. I'll play it on, play it on stream, and I actually kind of enjoyed my time with it on stream, and I wanted to keep playing it. But I also didn't want to, I didn't want to have a stream schedule surrounded around me being able to play it. I just wanted to, just wanted to play the goddamn thing. You know what I mean? So that's why I continue to play it on my own. And I really enjoyed it. But for Pikmin 4, you know, I do want to... I, I would binge the shit out of it for sure. <laughs> no doubt about that. Oh, well, I guess that works. So I don't know if I do like... Uh, I don't really know. I'd like to stream it because I like streaming Pikmin games. But like at the same time, I, I know that when I stop playing it, I'm gonna want to play it like the next day. So, but that's, but like you know, I, I can't just I can't just go crazy with it, you know. I'm, that's that's how I get with games I'm really interested in. I was like that for RE4 as well. RE4 remake, I didn't have much interest in streaming it at least, but I was very interested in playing it. Oh, whoops. I was very interested in playing it, and yep, sure enough, I downloaded it and I played it for like nearly eight hours straight. I was really, really into that game. I loved it. So when I really like a game, I can play it for fucking hours. Just hours. So that makes streaming new games that I'm excited for really weird because I don't stream them for very long at a time. <laughs> I don't stream them for very long at a time. But when I really like them, I can play them for a very long period of, uh, like a long stretch of time. There are definitely some games that I do play on stream that I think I could like play more of on my own. But I do restrain, like reasonably restrain myself. But I really like Pikmin, so. Okay. Goodbye, laddie. I, I was focused on the star bits. I wasn't looking at the cactus. Oh, drowning in sand. Well, Yakuza is different. I'm not gonna say I don't. I didn't enjoy Yakuza, cause I did. 
But Yakuza was good to break up into those longer streams and then kind of like uh, degrease myself of it, I guess. I gotta degrease myself of the uh, experience. Because, I'll be real at you, chat. I don't really like the combat of Yakuza very much. It's not the part of the game I like. I like the story, I like the, the stupid shit. But the combat is extremely, like, if I don't have to do it, I'm not gonna do it. That's how I feel about the uh, the combat. It's there, I have to put up with it, for the most part. Kind of shitty way to look at it, yeah. But whatever. But I can do that because I can do Monday and Friday for that because I play a decent amount and then I can just kind of wait. But those games are more about the story for me. I don't know, I just have a lot of patience for waiting on those ones. But I really want to play Pikmin 4. You always have to do combat. Always. You can't not play a Yakuza game and not throw hands with somebody. Oh, that motherfucker's still alive. Bro ain't giving up. Well, okay. Yakuza is more like a movie. It's a game that I would understand wanting to watch someone because you're just watching a movie with them But you don't have to do any of the gameplay parts because the gameplay parts aren't always very fun <laughs> I reminded me I forgot to pick up things, those games on the summer sale. I knew there was something I was forgetting. I have a My friend my co-worker friend who I've been going to the gym with uh, he's gotten in a battle bit recently. He was telling me about it a couple shifts ago. About how extremely, uh, like, fun he's- uh, how much fun he's having with that game. And I was like, that sounds great. I'd love to try it out on, like, the next day off I get. <laughs> the next day off I have to try it with some people. Fucking five years from now. He made it sound like a lot of fun. Alright, chat. I know I only have 50 seconds, but... Watch yourself. Okay. I'll be fine. Nice and easy. Hmm. Yeah, it just seems like they put a lot of care into that game. That makes it really cool. At some point, I'll give it a shot. Oh, where's the other one? Just a couple guys wanted to make Battlefield again. Battlefield the way they remember it. Fun. The proximity chat, I think, is a big thing that plays into the, the fun of that game. And also just LARPing. <laughs> just LARPing as a soldier. Just get in, get in a group with a couple boys and just, you know, just head out. Squad up. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, 
is this magnificent creature. This guy is great. I had a feeling that was gonna happen, but I also kind of thought I was okay there, so I, did, I chose not to move. Very good. I don't remember what I was talking about before I got on that conversation with Battle Bit, though. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, ah. Uh, yeah, Summer Sale, Yakuza. Right, 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 right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just games that. Games that I can, like, just kind of hold off on. I can hold off on playing some games, but there are also... There are a number of games that I really enjoy. It's interesting to me, because Galaxy is one of those games that I can play. I can play a lot of Galaxy in one sitting, I think. I don't know. I guess I just... When I get into a game, I just... Can really focus on it and I just kind of not pay attention to the time anymore. Oh, I don't have enough to feed you. Sorry, brother. Hope you like that. Yeah, it's all you're getting. Goodbye. We don't even know how long Pikmin 4 will be. From what I understand, the demo they released counts as like the first day or something like that. So, like, if you played the demo, you essentially don't have to do the tutorial when you get the full game. But I'm okay with uh, doing the tutorial because I'm not gonna know how to play the game and then I'm gonna have to relearn how to play the game anyway. So I'll just do the tutorial. It'll be really boring. And, you know, when new games come out, there will be, like, 50,000 people you can watch to play the game. That's just how it is. But that's not really why you stream a game. Don't worry, it's broken. Sure ain't. If there's one thing I've learned, chat, you don't stream Pikmin for viewers. You stream Pikmin because you like Pikmin. That's all. It's a great series. It's a great little series. Here we go. That's perfect. You take a bunch of days in the demo, it's just until you get enough to move to the second area. Oh, really? Well, I'm excited to play it. Oh, I gotta make room on my Switch for it. Oh, a physical copy. Hmm. Oh, I planned 100%. I like 100%ing Pikmin games. I, I'm kind of ashamed I don't like Pikmin 3 as much as uh, I like Pikmin 2. I really do think that Pikmin 3 is a fine game, but there's too many things about it that I'm not really a fan of. I like the story. 
If you can call it that. I mean, it kind of is a story. There's kind of a story there. There's a lot more of a story than the other games. Uh-oh. Oh. There we go. No, I'm not going to Toronto. Where my friends are, though? I'll just be watching Gamma. Canadian Super Major. I went to one before, way back in Smash 4. It's fun, but traveling is costly. <laughs> my dad's gonna get angry, Valenia. Grand Star. It's time to bring out my Boomstay machine. Just relax my comfy cock pit and watch it go boom. I think Bowser Jr. is just at that age where he likes saying dirty words, but he can only get away with saying them by including them in actual words so his dad doesn't get mad at him. Because this is like the second time he specified his cockpit. Like, I just think he's having a giggle at the word, but like, he has to be careful. He can't just say, he can't just say cock after all. That's bad language. Perish. Damn it. He sucked my cloud good. What? Well, considering Pikmin 4 and Pikmin 3 released with, like, a difference of fucking years, I would hope that Pikmin 4 is vastly different. Honestly, I'd love to know what happened with that game's development. That it's been known about since the, the, the Switch's release, but only now are we actually getting it. I really hope it lives up to the, the a long, like, the long-ass period of time we spent waiting for it. And it seems like it's going to. When did Miyamoto talk about Pikmin 3? I actually don't know about that. When did he start talking about Pikmin 3? All I know is that Pikmin 4 has been a confirmed game since like the Switch's release. Pikmin 3 was a big weight too? How big though? How big was the weight? Hmm? I gotta know. I didn't know this. This is information that I was not aware of. Since the Wii? No fucking way! <laughs> what? That's a Wii U game! Pikmin 3 on July 16, 2008 for the Wii console. Later stating at E3 2011 it had transitioned to Wii U. When did Pikmin 3 come out? Hold on, when did Pikmin 3 come out? Nah, I got questions. The fifth grand star, I had a feeling you could do it. Next up is the sixth well. You know that monster is going to be an even more stronger fight now. Let's get those power stars. Save your special one. Fight away to the helm is yours, Capitan. 2013. So Miyamoto announced it five years before we saw it, uh, before the game came out. Okay, when was Pikmin 4 announced? Pikmin 4 was announced when the Switch was like new, right? And the Switch is like almost a decade old now or some shit. Right? Isn't the Switch like 2015, 2016? The battle draws near. Do your best. Let's get him this time. So he's going to announce Pikmin 5. He's going to announce Pikmin 5 in 2025. And we're going to see it when I'm dead. <laughs> okay. Sounds great. Fantastic. Pikmin 5 is coming. Well, did we ever get a reason why Pikmin 3 took so goddamn long? 
I know I transitioned to the new console and all that. Oh. I just wonder, have they been working on this game for so long, or they just say they were working on it, and they actually weren't working on it at all. What if, what if Miyamoto hadn't actually touched the project for years, and he only started development like two years ago? You ready for something? Roll with enemies ahead. You game? Come on, you'll do it, right? Of course I'll do it. 5,000 points. Time to bowl, boys. That's cringe. Cool track. Weird dev cycle where they just work on it on the side. Maybe. I mean, I feel like they don't really consider Pikmin a flagship series over there at Nintendo. But it definitely, at this point, I think it's earned that title, you know? They're def they're treating it with more respect. Pikmin's always felt like a weird outlier. Like, they're, it feels like they're almost ashamed of it, you know, with how little they seem to advertise it. That was impressive. Oh, how do you farm star bits here? These guys don't drop anything. I died. Does this guy give you star bits if you beat a, get a high score? Hmm. I just feel like Pikmin is one of those series that they don't treat with enough respect. But at the same time, at the same time, it's still at least a series they're working on. So there's that. It's not like, it's not like other ones. Like Star Fox, F-Zero. Metroid has been getting stuff though. So Metroid has been, the, the, Metroid Other M happened and, well, bad things for Metroid fans, but it seems like they're coming around to the fact that it's a good series and that it's selling well, so they want to do more with it, which that's nice. This is it. Barely. Article interview Nintendo says I'm planning things to make it fit. When we created the first Pikmin, we had a very clear concept we wanted to do. Pikmin 2 essentially took that concept and made it easier to play and improve upon the areas that were challenging in the first game. Gotta acknowledge he's my greatest rival. Since then, part of the reason it took so long is because philosophically we're debating should Pikmin game really be. The other reason, obviously, is because we have Wii and 3DS or Wii U part of it. Simply doing experiments on these platforms to see what kind of Pikmin game we wanted to make with platforms that suited for it. Sure took a sweet ass time deciding, huh? Pikmin 2 is harder, isn't that what it says? Improve upon areas that were a challenge in the first game. Oh, I guess you can interpret that as making it easier. Pikmin 1 had some more aspects to it that were just immediately lethal. But there were some parts to Pikmin 1 that were challenging for the wrong reasons. AKA the fucking Pikmin tripping while you're running away from an enemy. But Pikmin 2 had numerous enemies that were very dangerous, especially in groups. And caves, there were some enemies in that game that did not respect your Pikmin at all. If they were just a crushing hazard. Mario RPG remake is the first real Mario RPG in years, and it's a remake. Well, do you remember the last Super Mario Brothers game we had? Like, genuinely. Because I don't. I don't remember the last uh, 2D Mario game we had. Was it? Was it like Luigi? Look at that big hot boy. New Super Mario Brothers, you! 
Really? That was 2014, wasn't it? Oh, that's that's fantastic, Jimmy. Well, you had two on there. No, one of them was one of them was the Lugi game though, which doesn't count because it's Lugi game. Because that one is just Mario Brothers U, but you play as Lugi or Nabbit because they made it. They I don't know. They wanted to make Nabbit a character. No, it doesn't count because it's Lu It's a full price game where you play as Lugi, but it's the same game, is it not? Isn't it the exact same game as like <laughs> as the, the the other one? It isn't. Oh, interesting. Ow. I didn't know that. All right, well, that's fine. There comes a time in every streamer's life where he's wrong and his stream Pepe giggles at him for his lack of information and then they get banned. It's just the cycle of life, that's all. Such is the cycle of life. Why am I falling? See you later. Do a little spin. Oh boy, 50 star bits. Wow. Yeah. All of this makes sense, just so you know. Look at this shit show. These guys are just having a ball. This plan is kind of horrifying. Wow. Just a little horrifying. Not too horrifying. Chad, I hope in Pikmin 4 I can, uh, I hope that the, the Duff Glove is back. I really, I want to, I want to perform Man vs. Wild again. Because that's just my ideal way of playing Pikmin. If I can go in and throw hands myself. If I can, if I can go in and throw hands myself, I will do it. If you give me the option. I ain't afraid. <clears throat> the Mario, the Mario, the 2D Mario games kind of piss me off because they just are blatantly, uh, another hungry mouth to feed. Hope you know what you're doing. Nope, they can just stay down there. They piss me off because they're just a complete, uh, hypocrisy. To the idea that things cannot exist without innovation. Series could not continue to exist without innovation to apply to them. And if innovation cannot be thought of, then those series will not happen. But like, motherfucker, that whole stretch of new Super Mario Brother games? Come on now. Now I ain't saying anything about the quality of the gameplay, but I am saying that they released that game. They released like four different games of that style, and they do not feel very different. Oh, here we go. Time to roll in rocks. Yes. Now the fun begins. Is this Chimpy? Is Chimpy accessible here too? He is here. I don't want your star, Chimpy. Here we go. back hold on this is the one with the blue ruby right oh hmm. where 
Alright. Hold on. Death perception. Death perception. Death perception. No, I thought it was. All right, goodbye. There was no point to that. Good job, Mario. You did it. Wow, that was worth nothing. Hmm. There might be a green star back there. I don't remember the green star locations very clearly. Doom, doom, doom. But I recall Blue Rupee being like under one of those bridges. Doom, doom, doom. Well, let's do it again. Was it the level with the ball? It might have been. I remember a bridge that looks like that, though. That's what I remember. Is this really the best way we have of grinding star bits? Okay, I'm not trying to do that. I am trying to beat the level, okay? I am actually trying to beat the level. What you're seeing here is just a byproduct of sadness. That's all. Just a little sadness. It's in the ball level in Galaxy... Oh. Oh. I see. I got the wrong game. He didn't. He didn't. He didn't jump! He didn't jump! I got one Mario left! It's all right, I got another guy. He, he, why won't he jump? I don't understand. Why won't he jump? He won't jump. I try and I try, but I press the button, no jump. Why no jump? Why he no jump? He jump every other time. Oh. I'm gonna need that. I just gotta get a better angle. Oh. That's fine. It's fine. Hello, hello. Who are you? 
<laughs> Are you in need of a helping hand? Would you like me to guide you to the star? If you ever need my help, I will be here. I unlock the baby mode. The baby mode. You start, you get like half credit for the star. It was all a ruse, chat. I just wanted to grind star bits while also putting on great content. Why won't he jump? I don't understand! He won't jump! Why doesn't he jump? Every time I press the jump button, there he doesn't do it! He won't jump! Check the input display! He won't jump! I'm trying! I'm trying my best, he won't do it! Loop, loop, loop. I ain't playing, man. button I didn't press the jump button I didn't know he did that he did it himself <laughs> I didn't I didn't know they did that did I hit something weird or does he actually just auto jump after a while it's a bullshit <laughs> I don't need baby mode shut up I don't need it. What? <laughs> that's, that's all. We're back here. We're back here. We're back here. Who is that mysterious character I've never seen before? No, the story of Sisyphus is about pushing the boulder up the hill. I am the boulder. It's not the same! Good news! This is the one. Stop! Thank you. Okay, well, I made a lot of uh I made a lot of star biddies there. I'll go get him when the comet appears in the castle. I used to always jump for the star because I'm a dumbass. <laughs> I never saw that fucking block, so I remember spending so much time trying to jump into that thing. But nope, you're supposed to bonk on the corner and then walk over and get it like a normal human being. Time for adventure. I hate this one. I can't afford this Hungry Luma. I can afford the previous one, though. Kribby tumble, you see that? Like he just kind of flails, just like Kribby does. Did that just happen again? Okay, 
It almost happened again. Oh. Hmm. What the hell was that? Wait, there's a coin luma. Some isn't I think. I think there is anyway. Oh my god! Stop blocking on the fucking wall! Please! Thank you. Just spin. Spin the way I know you've always wanted to spin. Do it! Don't do it. Don't do it. All right, we're good. I got 12 kern. Is that enough kern? I don't know how much the lad wants. I don't see it. Oh, there it is. I'm sure. No, you know what? I no, I'm not doing that. I know exactly what's gonna happen if I try and do that. We're just gonna wait, like a, a good boy. Wait, that might be coins. Wait, I need that. Wait, get out of my goddamn way. This might be coins. Oh. Spin me around, please. Okay. I'm surprised I counted, but sure. How many coins does this guy want? 30? 25? Let's count on... There goes all my coins. And now we're back at the start of the level. That was kind of an impressive gap to follow, wouldn't you say? It was like, it was made for me. That hole. Good, relaxing, fun, babby game. Yep, that's the one. Super Mario Galaxy 2. For the Nintendo Wii. That's the one. I beat this game when I was five! Cried nobody. That's great, chat member. I beat this game when I was 15. I'm gonna hope that he doesn't want like a billion coins or anything crazy like that. Because getting these is fucking it's terrible. Me up, damn it. It's so slow. Where are they at? Oh, there's one. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna get his ass. He ain't never gonna see it coming. Okay. Please say 30 is enough. Please say 30 is enough. Oh! 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 Why is he eating coins? Does he think he is Kiryu? Does he think he can just eat money and become stronger? Well, I mean, I guess he did just turn to a planet. That's pretty impressive. I would have to concur. I bet you threw a crazy sequence of wall jumps. Oh, what if? Oh, I'm thinking about it right now. I'm thinking about it. I'm scheming. I'm scheming. Oh. <laughs> 
Those bricks. Those bricks, man. They were unwall jumpable. Well, time to try again. Because I don't I never learned my lesson. Oh! Oh! -ho -ho! The whole level outskilled. A ledge hammer trap. Dude, that black hole is making noises. Here we go. Spin your leg. Move your fingers. Clockwork ruin sucks. I hate this galaxy. It's stupid. Yeah, yeah, I've seen it all before. Watch as I ace this test. I'm just trying to figure out why that consistently seems to happen on that spot. Like, Mario can't just, like, get... He just can't get the distance. He just crashes into the wall for some reason and his spin jump gets eaten. Oh my god, it happened again! <laughs> This time it was a little different. All right, maybe I slow it down. Maybe we slow it down a little bit. All right, so I'll take a. Let's all take a moment to collect ourselves. I'm sure there's a one-up somewhere around in this level, and I'll find it, and I will have one Mario's, and one Mario's will be. All I need. Why are you walking, you stupid asshole? So I think we're gonna get that. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Wow, would you look at that? Checkpoint doesn't matter! Alright, well, I'm sure this is going to be perfectly fine. See? I know where there's a one up here. Oh, stop hitting the wall with your spin jump, you rat bastard! I ain't moving. No, nope. I'm choosing not to move. You've already shown me what happens if I dare play that game. I did it again. Goodbye, wall. Oh, oh. what I tell ya? What I tell you, one extra Mario has been acquired, and now my boy is free. Thank you. I'm starting to smell moldy in that cage. He didn't even want to leave the cage. All right, now the real fun begins. Hey, I remember the green star in this level because they put it at the end of the level. Real fun that one was. Well. Gotta replay the whole goddamn level again. Oh no. I need that. Oh. My death perception is currently on, uh, off. It's off. It needs to be on. Turn it back on, please. Who turned it off? Oh, 
Don't do this. Stop doing this to me. Ah. Uh. I can't tell which part's the top and which part's the bottom. All right, there. I got the goddamn metal. Terrible. Godless behavior. Little pole trick. He's so cool. I bet you I can triple jump, wall jump, crazy shit this. Ready? Alright, I'm gonna do it again. But I got it this time. No! Fine. I'll play your game. Stop moving. No. No! No! I was too slow! What the hell? Please don't kill me. There's a lot of things I want to do. Wait, that's not even the pipe to go. It's over here, isn't it? Taking this bullshit. There it is! Here we go. I gotta get on that thing. <coughs> yeah, the green star is... Mario, I swear to God, you keep hitting this wall. The green star is like past the power star. You do the whole level for that green star. I hate it so much. Terrible. Who thought the green stars was a good idea? Who that? Put them things in some weird spots. The hell you want? Honey Hop Galaxy. Oh, you are taking me all the way across the world. All right, sure, now I got it. Hey, it's better than Luigi. Oh, wait, that, huh? I didn't see anything show up for that. I definitely didn't see any, chat, am I crazy? Or was that not there? Did I like blank the cutscene or something? Or did you see a cutscene of that popping up? Because I certainly didn't. The chimp score challenge. So I'm not crazy. Crazy? I was crazy. Alright. Time for some fun. Finally. You ready to take on my greatest game in the galaxy? 10,000. Yep. I don't want this monkey's respect. I don't need his respect. You know what? Sure. Send me on my way. Alright. Okay. Let me just get in over there real quick. Let me just get up over there, okay? All right, yeah, no problem. Yep. Mm -hmm. I like how he's just as confused as I am when I bump into him like that. There's a big gathering up top. That's where all my points are going. Look at that. Oh. No, no, I want the kern. Give me the kern. Whoops. 
Whoops again. Oh well, whatever counts. It's all right, flawless, right here. What? Oh, you're insane. Don't tell me I'm gonna fail Chimpy's challenge again. I think this is a thousand points though. Don't worry, we're fine. Yeah, see, we're done. I'm gonna drown now. Come here. <laughs> Amazing, you may just be my lifelong rival. Why does this guy have power stars? They ever really like make that clear? These are supposed to be like super powerful like uh, power sources, right? But these people just like have them and like, hey Mario, play a game with me and I'll give it to you for free. Do they not understand the like the power? Haha, <laughs> get it? Of the star? They must not. But they're good guys, but they don't want to just give it up for free. It's like how when you're the hero saving the world and you still have to pay uh, pay for inventory in the shops. Like, motherfucker, your shop won't even continue to exist if you allow Whatchamagoober to, like, you know, the demon is the demon king is coming and he's gonna destroy your village. Like, your shop won't, there won't be a future for your shop if I don't stop him, so maybe you could cut me a goddamn deal. That makes sense to me. Why are there pianos with shine sprites? That doesn't make any sense either. Because the pianos all understand the importance of shine sprites and why they're supposed to be at the shine gate, yet that asshole running the box mini game, literally outside the shine gate, mind you, is like, mm -hmm. and then you play his box game, and then he just gives you two shine sprites. What is that about? Huh? Sounds like he's got something he's gotta, he's gotta, we gotta talk to him about. You think the IRS is scarier than the Demon King? Is that what this is? Hurry. I will do no such thing. I will take my sweet ass time. I have no death perception. Get off of it. Please. Let me down! I think it's perfect. Now I need to get off Mr. Bones' wild ride. Okay. Purple coin music is pretty solid, though. Got some good vibe to it. Got 37? Sure do. Oh, oh, that's bad. Oh, maybe that's salvageable. Just don't crash into something. That'd be really bad. Okay, all right, this works. Ugh. It's all right, I got plenty of time. Don't worry, don't worry, don't worry. Nobody panic. I happen to be an expert in this particular field. Okay, what's left on this uh, big ass thing? Ain't no way I got them all. I, I gotta be missing one. No? All right, cool. Get down. Seventy. Now have seventy three. Almost. Okay. The mallet. Okay. It's a big swirl.
Okay, we gotta wait. We gotta wait for the other side. Oh. Oh. Mario? Don't run on the wall, please. Mario? Please get on the ground. Thank you. Yep, that's 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 a that's a bit of a nefarious spot. Very very likely that I just accidentally uh, oops myself. Mm -hmm. Here we go. All right, didn't oops myself. Look, I get it. It's a video game, right? You gotta have reason for currency system. It makes sense. But Safidos didn't need a currency system. It was all trading material. But I guess the, the world ending isn't really part of that. Well, you know. You know. You know. That's a little, a little different. My point is... The hero is, like, expected to do so much, but then he's still supposed to be a law-abiding citizen. They don't cut him a break. What happens to the hero after the story? We ever get to that? We ever talk about that? You know what, chat? There was actually a show that I watched before. It wasn't very highly rated, mind you. But I didn't think it was that bad. It was called, like, I couldn't defeat the Demon King, so I reluctantly got a job. You know, one of those light novel titles. So essentially, it's just about a world where like, oh, there's a demon king. Everybody wants to everybody go be a hero and they're gonna defeat him. But then they just like, they defeat him and it's like, oh, so now what? And like all the heroes that were employed are just like, well, we don't need you anymore. Oh, I cannot jump. They don't need them anymore. So what do they do? Some motherfucker just got a job. <laughs> like, that's it, he just, he just got a job. And it's like, it's kind of like, it's just like modern Japan, but like there's magic and mana. Unfortunately, the whole premise is kind of ruined because it wanted to be etchy, but I thought it was a neat idea. It's like, what happens to the heroes that like dedicate their life to like, you know, traveling and slaying monsters and stuff like that when suddenly the world's at peace? What do they do? There we go. What do those bozos do? I thought it was neat. It wasn't the greatest show in the world, and the content was very, like, trashy, sure. But I thought it had... It posed an interesting question. That's what I liked about it. Hmm. Get me out of here. Take me to the sludge planet, please. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's fine. Well, it's just, it's kind of like just something to think about, right? You dedicate your whole life to this, and then it's like, oh, peace is restored. Now what? Like, yeah, honestly, now what? Do you, like, train the younger generations? Is, like, peace permanent? Do you become, like, king or something? Like, what happens at the end of RPGs, chat? Fill me in. I don't play those... Like, Dragon Quest, for example. Dragon Quest, I think, is the perfect example of a stereotypical RPG. What happens at the end of those games? Does your character just, like, become royalty? Does your character just, like, go back to his house and just, like, hang out? After saving the world, like, what, what do your characters do? <laughs> you really had to make me play this whole goddamn level for this, didn't you? Sometimes you gotta wonder what a character's motivation for even wanting to save the world is. Because so many of those games have silent protagonists. And it's like, I understand, your character doesn't need to be, need to be that, like, complicated to just want to uh, save the world. 
But I'd like to know characters' motivations for why they do the things they do. Why do you want to save the world? What what's what's so precious in the world to you? You're literally just like a dude living in this fucking ragtag house of two of a uh, town of like three individuals. Is there really is like you want to save the whole goddamn like Why are you doing this? Get me over here. He's sucking. Oh, that's just fantastic. Well, guess we can do it all over again. We're doing it again. Big suck. Man, I'd love to read what you're saying right now, Chad, but I just cannot. Oh. There we go. Okay. Fire Emblem Games main character becomes King Noble married X Rain Doctor Justice since the just sequel to another game set three years later. Well, that's because all the main characters in Fire Emblem are, most of the time are noble lords, right? They're noblemen, they're lords. So, you know, they win the war and then they just, you know, they they just rule the country. Bada bing bada boom. Dude from SMT Strange Journey becomes the Doom guy and starts destroying the demon place every time it shows up. Oh pfft. Okay. Why he do? The ultimate question of the RPG. You must save the world. Why? Uh, I mean, I don't know, but you must. Why do I get, like, what What makes me so spe- like, why am I doing it? You know what I like about Wind Waker Link? Wind Waker Link had a motivation to get out there. He went all the way to the Forsaken Fortress to save his sister. Failed. But he didn't give up. So... The King of Red Lions helped him out. And like, as he journeyed, you know, as he journeyed to gain the ability to save his sister, he, he ended up having to take on a greater responsibility, kind of understanding... Kind of learning and understanding what, it ha what happened. And it became more than just a sister, but that's what got him out the door, right? And it kind of happened for Twilight Princess Link as well. The fuck was Old Green of Time Link doing? He was asleep, he had a dream, it was like, save the world, Link, and he just got up and was like, Okay, I gotta save the world now! Like, alright, sure. But Link, like, Old Green of Time Link didn't really feel like a regular guy to me, you know? He didn't have enough build-up like the other Links later on. Granted, Twilight Princess Link had a little too much build-up. <laughs> give a fuck about any of the people in this. I wanted me to care about. Fluzzer, it says he's okay. Let, let's fly. Let's glide. Okay. He had like a dream or something. Uh, I just remember what we're doing. He had like a dream or something. And, and then it was like he got he met his fairy. And it's like, blink. Meet Princess Zelda. Is this gate two or three? I don't actually know. Oh. I hope that's three. Oh, 
That was an accident. Alright, there it is, number five. So I, I'm not I'm not scared to admit I've missed this comet medal before. It's happened. Bonk. We're good. See, Alcarina Tilink has a dream, goes to the Deku Tree, and Deku Tree's like, alright, here's the story. Alright, now you gotta go do something about it. And it's like, oh, okay. But Twilight Princess Link and Wind Waker Link have a little more build up to it before they're like forced into their destiny. Breath of the Wild Link is interesting. Because Breath of the Wild Link wakes up after like losing. But like he was already like his whole his whole story already played out. You're playing like the aftermath kind of deal. I find that kind of interesting about him. I guess Skyward Sword Link's kind of similar. He just wanted to find Zelda. He just started chasing Zelda around. Alright, take me back, please. But of course, it's like, you know, it just becomes one of those things. You gotta do what you gotta do. Oh, throwback. Look at this place. Return of the Womp King. What a great level. Yeah. You'd love to see it. Hey! The guy with the stash came on just in time. You need to be able to get that back the Womp King. This is the good shit, man. The good shit. It's classic. Hmm. We're gonna play it the old-fashioned way. Man, Womp Sports was such a good... Just like a good level. So much versatility in the way you can approach the level. But even if you weren't Super Mario, there was still a perfectly reasonable way up. Although I feel like speedrunners probably don't like this level very much because of uh, El Canon Lees. El Canon Lees. Yes. And Owlis as well as a bitch. Hey, Stash Man. Really scary guy at the top of this hill, but I know you can count on you and your fantastic Stash. This man gets it. Oh, right, the Comet Metal. That's where one of the stars was in the original. Which I think you're supposed to use a cannon for. There we go. Oh shit. Shit. Alright, watch this. Watch this. Watch this. Okay, but just keep watching! Here we go. Okay, I got it. I'll figure this out eventually. Never mind. It's not happening. It's not happening. Shut up. Shut up! <laughs> it's not happening. We're going all the way back up the old fashioned way. Go, Mario, go. They even put the silver stars back in here. One of the sunshine secrets is also a galaxy in this game. It's in the bonus world. The twisty trials. There we go. Mario 64 has some really simple level design. Like, levels were small, compact, but everything went- like, everything bled together well. And the levels were fun to traverse. Well, most of them were. Some of them weren't. <laughs> but I think Wild Fortress was a really, really good, uh... A really good level. He's dead. Yeah. 
You ever think about what this guy says here? It makes me so mad. We build your houses, your castles, we pave your roads, and you still walk all over us. Chat, you ever think of that? How he says that? Like, the Womps are apparently, like, the construction workers of this, uh, of this world. They're the tradesmen. These guys. This guy's building your house, paving your road. This guy. I just I can't believe that. But he's treated like dirt. Do you ever say, do you ever say thank you? No. No. Well, you're going to wipe your feet. You're not going to wipe your feet on me. I think I'll crush you just for fun. Do you have a problem with that? Just try to ground pound the Womp King. Okay. Got him. Oh. Oh. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. Would anyone like to pause the footage and rewind and figure out what just happened to me? Mario, what are you doing? Hmm. Okay. What are these guys? Alright. Let's not do it again now. Don't crush me in the air. There you go. Woo! No, crushed again. I'm just a stepping stone after all. I won't gravel or grovel. Okay, you win. Here, take this with you. Dang it. Dead. Look at this chat. Look at this. Can you believe it? Crazy, isn't it? That's life right there. Even on this concrete slab, it grows. <clears throat> How can there be a secret message for dying and redoing the boss when he literally killed me? in the air, and I jump back in, and nothing changed. It's a reset in the timeline when you use the mushroom. Hazardous materials, you just better make sure he stays calm. I don't want any angry bomb bombs on this ship. No, it's okay, the red bomb bombs are chill. They're good. Their fuses are cut, so they have no, there's no aggression. God, imagine being a sentient bomb. Just knowing at the top of your head is a little fuse that any jackass could just kind of run over and be like, hee hee, and you'd be like, what have you done? And then in three seconds later, you go, and you just, that's it. That's the end of your existence. I wouldn't want to be a sentient bomb. Do you think bombs enjoy exploding? Origami King touched on this subject, actually. Origami King had a bomb bomb partner who you need to use to like blow up a rock in the way And it has like a big dramatic scene about how like he's gonna blow up and like that's just gonna be the end of his life Like that's it and it's like Jesus fuck man <laughs> You're making me feel kind of bad, but I need you to blow this wall up I honestly am so annoyed that Origami King has so many great moments in it Because the gameplay loop is not that fun Granted, it's definitely better than what it was in Color Splash and uh, Sticker Star 
But I don't like how puzzle orientated it is, I guess. I don't like that. Last one should be at the top of the tower. Yep. There we go. Oh. There we go. Sticker Star was... Sticker Star is definitely one of those games that is just infamous for absolutely shitting on the entire series. For Tall, that's Violet Detector. Hmm. There's just... A game will come out in a series that's such a, like, such a divider. You know? Such a massive divider. Because it's just not good. Mario 64, Paper Mario 64 is great. Thousand Year Door is fantastic. I think Super Paper Mario is a fantastic game as well, but that one is definitely kind of weird. That one's kind of weird, but I don't think it was a step in the wrong direction. But Sticker Star, Sticker Star essentially like went back to how Mario 64 was, but but didn't actually, like, incorporate anything that made Paper Mario 64 such a good and enjoyable game, you know? That's kind of the problem with the game. It's not exciting. It's not interesting. It's boring. Like, Paper Mario 64 was fine, with just Bowser, because it's like, it's the first one, right? You know, you don't want to get too crazy. But after that, it de like, Thousand Year Door got its own whole universe and lore and whatnot, which is, and then, super, again, it went kind of weird, in a weird direction, but I don't think it was a bad direction. But then Aura, Sticker Star was like, hey, let's do the Bowser again. But like, it just didn't have the same appeal. It wasn't the same. And, of course, I'm not even bothering to mention the battle system, because, like, you already know. You already know, chat. That battle system was very disrespectful. Very disrespectful to anyone who enjoyed the previous games, or is capable of any critical thought in the slightest. I don't hate Bowser as a villain. I think Bowser can be a great villain. I think Bowser's a great villain in the Bow in the Bowser's uh, in the Mario RPG games. Like, Bow I mean, I mean, I guess that's maybe that's being a bit cheeky because of Bowser, but uh, Superstar Saga has great Bowser, uh, great Bowser. Bowser's Inside Story has great Bowser, and Dream Team also has great Bowser. Because the funny thing is, is that Bowser isn't actually a real proper antagonist through like any of those games <laughs> up to dream team cuz like yeah he's he's the he's technically the final boss cuz he's possessed by Cacletta and it's it's Bowser but not Bowser at the same time which i think is kind of funny battle belt this one sucks it's just because Bowser is always it's always Bowser right but again for paper mario 64 it's fine because it's the first one Bowser being the main villain of that one makes sense. But him making cameos and being a playable character in Super, that was a good step. Keeping him in the loop, but not making him the end-all, be-all. Paper Mario wasn't afraid to, like, kind of explore its options. That's what I liked about it. It constantly made up new, interesting stuff in the world to keep it fresh. And then, uh... And then stickers start kind of... Kind of pooped on it. To be honest, I have no real knowledge of uh, Color Splash at all. Other than that, that game had, like, some funny writing. But it didn't actually, like, fix the battle system. So. Burn.
burn to the ground. Bowser doesn't talk in Sticker Star? Why? The whole point of the spin-off games, hell, even like the main games to a certain extent. Bowser talks. He can speak. Only real characters in the game are Wiggler and Crystal, who is just Navi from Zelda. What the hell are you talking about? I think the color splash humor sucked bad. I just remember screenshots about like a shy guy on a train talking to Mario about how they're both right now just like they're just you know they're just talking on a train having a moment and he's like you know at some point I'm gonna have to face you as an enemy for Bowser and it's like it's like oh shit in we go Don't touch me, boo. Wow. Yeah, I don't know what Color Splash was really about. That game is really weird because it was just kind of on the Wii U and it didn't really fix the problems that Sticker Star had created. Kind of like how Mario Party 9 and Mario Party 10 are like the same board mechanics. So Mario Party 10 just kind of fell by the wayside. How many you want? 20, huh? Alright. You don't actually kill the shy guy, do you? For real? <laughs> Damn, that's kind of depressing. Oh, I guess that bomb bomb died too, so... Damn. What if you spare him? What if you run away? Huh? What if you run away? Man, I love Shy Guys. Shy Guys are so goofy. They're basically just like... How do I explain it? They're like the toads of the bad guys, you know? They're just the most, like, easy to use characters for bad guys, I think. That can have, like, fun personalities and be really quirky. So having, like, a whole town of Shy Guys is like, oh yeah, Poggies. But like Koopas are kind of basic, Goombas are just little assholes, Tods are Tods, but Shy Guys are capable of having so much fun, you know what I mean? Shy Guys Toy Box is a good example. Absolute goon behavior, those guys. They're just living to have a giggle. Done. Hmm. There we go. They have, well, Paper Mario games, they have to make up for their lacking areas elsewhere, right? So they're having, their writing has gotten, like, Origami King's writing, I think, was pretty swell. I thought it was fun, enjoyable. I just don't like the battle system, but I at least appreciate that they tried something a little different with it. But I kind of wish they'd just go back to the Paper Mario standard, you know? I have a letter for you. Fleet Ride Race, okay. Come see me next time there's a mail delivery. Okay, I'll go do that right now. I cannot afford that Luma. I can't do it. Time to fleet ride, my boy. Alright. Shy Guys are probably my favorite uh, Mario enemy. I like Booze a lot as well. You never got a Shy Guy as a partner, did ya? Wonder why that is. You got a lot of other characters. You got Goomba, Koopa, Bomb Bomb, but no Shy Guy? I would love to have a stupid little shy guy on my team who just does what- He can just be a gag character. He doesn't need to be good. I just want him to be there for me. You know, be my friend. Yeah, 
You think you can beat me? Unfortunately for you, I'm an expert on this particular level because I happen to have beaten it once. Chad, I know what you're thinking. He's playing like kind of insane right now and you're right. I am playing insane. So insane that I'm surprised I haven't crashed yet, because most of this is unintentional. <laughs> this gameplay you see right here, it's an accident. Wow. Incredible. Can't believe it, I'm not good enough to be leader. There you go. Oh. Clean. I would like to beat Bowser once to unlock the bonus stuff before I end the stream. I'm on pace to do that just fine. Got a hundred of them guys now, though. Ugh. Back to battle belt. Back to battle belt. Chat, has Nintendo actually had like had a series that just never really failed to disappoint? Would you say? I would say 3D Mario games, personally. Do the whole thing over again, but one HP. Fun. I would say the 3D Mario games have been consistent hits every time. Mario 64 is insane. Great game. Sunshine? Yes. Sunshine is a great game. I don't care what anyone says. It's a great game. Galaxy is my favorite game. Galaxy 2 is an improvement on Galaxy. Uh... 3D Land, or I guess 3D World, if you want to count those ones, I'm not sure if you can, are great games. Uh, and Odyssey is a fantastic game as well. So 3D Mario has always performed. Sploot, yeah, well, Sploot's, Sploot only has three games, right? <laughs> Sploot only has three games. Just you wait. Sploot 4 is gonna come out, and you motherfuckers are gonna wish that you never, ever got past that trilogy. That's just how it works. Kr Kribby's always good. Uh, Kribby has some weird spin-off games. But main Kribby games? Like Canvas Curse, Rainbow Curse, Mass Attack, I don't think those are amazing games. Those are gimmick games. But Kribby, Kribby's main, like, main games, they be hidden. Kribby's got that going on for him, for sure. Oh. What was the worst Mario Kart? <laughs> Super Mario Kart. <laughs> Super Mario Kart's terrible. Absolutely terrible. Oh, don't touch that ghost. GBA is... I don't think the GBA one is as bad as the SNES one. Have you looked at the SNES courses? I'm sure you have because you've seen them in newer Mario Kart games in the retro tracks. Oh, let's go to GBA Mario Circuit 4. Ah, yeah, all right, yeah, it's, uh, it's a row with some sand and colored blocks. Yeah. So it's either Super Mario Kart, or... I'm not saying Advanced Tour is good. Alright, let's get that straight. If I had to pick between the two, I'd say Super Mario Kart's worse, but Advanced Tour is probably the second worst. Because it's just kind of crusty draw distance on the game. Big issue. Oh. That's the end of Mario. Mario Kart 64 is a crusty game as well, but... Don't you fucking dare say that one's bad. Not allowed to do that. 
That's forbidden words. Hmm. AR Mario Kart? I don't know what that is, and I'm not gonna count it as a game, because I'm sure you're, it's not real. I'm not counting the mobile game either, because the mobile games... Come on now. That's cheating. That's cheating. Obviously, the mobile game is ass compared to the main stuff. We're in. I couldn't do it. I couldn't stop him. Hmm. Arcade games? I've never played that one, but I think Pac-Man's in it. I don't really know about that one. But I think that's kind of, I don't know, that's delving into like weird spin-off-esque territory. Which is a weird thing to say because the entirety of Mario Kart is a spin-off series. But even more so when it's like those, right? Spin-off, spin-off. And you erase the Taiko drum. There you go. I need 20 kern. You could also base it on which mechanic was the most annoying to play against a sweat lord on. Mario Kart DS had really uh, effective tech with uh, snaking. So the best carts in that game were... Uh, the best characters and carts in that game were the ones that were very good at uh, those like mini turbo chaining. Not necessarily high speed. And then Mario Kart 8 had fire hopping. Mario Kart Wii was a broken game. That, that game was a mess, but it was a fun mess. Mario Kart 7 was a fantastic game. I haven't played Mario Kart in quite a while. I never got the DLC tracks. No, I need your Kern. Give me your, give me your Kern. I need 20 of them. More Kerns, please. MK Wii is very broken. But it's a very fun game. The items are very, very stupid. The Thundercloud is an absolutely idiotic item. Whoever thought that was a good item should be fired. You can roll that shit in like 5th or 6th, 7th place, and it just puts a lightning bolt over your head. If you don't pass it, you get electrocuted. Like homeboy. What? Why am I getting punished? No, you just gotta bump in your shot. Just bump in your shot. What? Bro, there's no one around me! They see I have a lightning cloud over my head. They ain't coming anywhere near me. Why the hell was Funky Kong in that game? I'll never know. Oh, I must have killed this thing by accident the first time. He be jiggling. I wasn't really a fan of uh, MK Wii Online after a while. There was a... I don't know what it was, chat, but there was a very specific type of me that you would see on that game. It was like always the Japanese players. They all had the same fucking me. You know the one? It's like they had a... Uh, they had the long head, the big eyes, the triangle bangs, and they move the sunglasses up to, like, above their eyes. You know that one? You know what I'm talking about? I swear, every single one of those sweat lords who pop in with, like, the, uh, Funky Kong Flame Runner setup would be that me. You have no idea what I'm talking about. Alright, well, I can't explain it any better than that, unfortunately. What if I Google it? Google... Chat, Google Mario Kart Wii Online Lobby and see if you can find a screenshot. See if you can find a screenshot of it. Because I swear, when you ran into that player, there were a lot of them with that me, I swear. And they would always be running some kind of, uh, some kind of meta shit. 
It just kind of got annoying to play online and then have to deal with a lobby with half of the players. Like, it obviously, the higher your VR, the worse it got. But you just kind of had to sit there and play with four Funky Kongs on the Flame Runner. <laughs> Minimum. It was like that for Mario Kart 8 as well. You just find Mortons, Wario's. They pick the time trial vehicle and they just be right out the right out the mini turbo at the literal start of uh, of the game. They just uh boop 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 and it's like alright buddy. MK we ain't too old. People still play that game. You kidding me? That game's insane. The custom stage community is fucking wild. It's so hard to see what's going on in this fight. I'm gonna try to go for an early hit. Ow. On the ground, damn it. Not that ground. That wow. Gobble gut. Hmm. MK Wii is a very strange game. It's just, it's just such a messy game, but it's a really fun messy game. That's what makes it so enjoyable. And of course, the custom, the custom content is insane. That game was horrifically unbalanced, though. It's kind of funny. Carts versus bikes. Holy shit. There was just no reason. There was no reason to not use a bike. They were so good. Wheelies. Wheelies were so, so powerful. There it is. Look at the size of that. All right, time for the grand finale, Captain. Somewhere in there, your princess is waiting. What a surprise, it's a comet. Looks like Power Stars aren't the only thing getting eaten around here. Looks like that monster wants to get even bigger. You need to stop that monster before he devours everything in his path. Get in there and show him what you got. Chat, did cars have a way to circumvent POW blocks? Or was that a bike only thing? I actually don't, I don't use carts. All I know about carts is that they had an extra mini turbo. You jump and shake the Wiimote. Oh, really? Huh. Oh, on bikes you just popped a wheelie and it was fine. Isn't it weird how the, the environment of this galaxy is uh, just like the inside of a giant castle? Well, what if you played with a controller? You ever think of that? <laughs> Who's playing Mario Kart Wii with a Wiimote? Liars. Ow. Hmm. 
Here we go. Kind of shocked that didn't hit me. Crusty. I'm using tail controls. Congratulations. Hmm. I deserve worse. This is simply the better way to go about this. Happy to never see this thing again. <laughs> yeah. There we go. That man's using the gold steering wheel icon. He must be a master at the video game. Chat, was it possible to be good with the uh, with Wii remote controls. I want to believe the answer is yes, but in my heart, I believe the answer to be no. I don't understand how anyone could actually like precision drive with Wii remote tilt. I think it's all lies. Burn my ass! Yeah! Just like I thought. What was the alternative? Uh, you could use controller. GameCube controller. I don't know if Wiimote Nunchuck let you play, like, as a controller. But there was the steering wheel add-on. Which was basically just supposed to make the Wii Remote feel more authentic. But otherwise, yeah, just holding a Wii Remote sideways. Most people would have GameCube controllers buy Mario games if they came from the GameCube. But also the Nunchuck extension became like fucking vital to a point where it's like, why is this an extension? This should be part of the main controller, don't you think? But the Wii, yeah, the Wii had to have some silly, uh... The Wii had a lot, like, you know how Nintendo games go. Every early release in a Nintendo game needs to utilize the gimmick some way in an annoying capacity. The main one that comes to mind is the DS with Dawn of Sorrow. That one sucks cock. And the entirety of Phantom Hourglass. And I believe Spirit Tracks is the same way. Those games are entirely controlled by your touchscreen, which, in my opinion, was not fun. Yoshi died. Actually, I died. Never mind. It's a shame, because Phantom Hourglass actually had an incredibly fun multiplayer mode, but I did not like the touchscreen controls of that game, because I feel like it simplified the gameplay more than, like, Zelda ever could because you just kind of move you hold the screen he moves and you go and you tap the creature and it's like oh it died okay but like it's somehow even easier and more streamlined because you know it can't be too difficult because you're touch screening it what eat the boomerang Time to go. Time to go. Okay. Actually, I'm pretty sure... I don't know about Portrait of Ruin or Ecclesia, but the Dawn of Sorrow gimmick did not come back. That gimmick was quite bad. Because it was very finicky. And it did not let you finish a boss. 
You couldn't, you couldn't properly finish a boss until you did it. So the boss would just come back with less health. A little bit of health, but eventually you would get chipped out. You would get chipped out because you'd keep fucking doing it. Not fun. Yeah, flotation device. Hmm. Yeah, there's been so there's since been many mods. Pretty much every dinosaur mod it just has that as like a vanilla setting. Goodbye, Joshi. Here we go. It's just one of those things that it's like... There are some people that will like defend that kind of design. Or they'll be like, well, I, I don't have a problem with it. It's not that bad. It's like, that's, that's fine. You know what? That's perfectly fine. If you didn't have an issue with shitty design, then you didn't have an issue with shitty design. But that doesn't mean it isn't shitty design. It's like looking at Sonic 06 and being like, yo, this game is good. It's not good. It's not a good game at all. There's so many issues plaguing it. But you can enjoy it. It's still a shitty game. <laughs> you can enjoy it. Give it up already. Why don't you stop trying to mess up my master plan of building a new Galactic Empire right here? You can't stop me. Why don't you just run out and go find a green pipe to hide in? Hmm. <clears throat> can't you see I'm busy here? I don't have time to chat, so let's cut this short, shorty. Sonic Freeriders. That barely counts as a game. You know what? That's another game right there that fits with the whole cool series that was absolutely fucking fan-bangled. That's not even a word. That's not a word, but when I say that, you understand exactly what I mean. What an unfortunate situation that one found itself in. Sonic Riders? Cool. Sonic Riders Zero Gravity? Still cool. Kind of weird. And Sonic Free Riders. The biggest downgrade to a game I've ever seen. Yeah, that, that fucking killed. Jet the Hawk? Never again. Wave the Swallow? Never again. Storm the Albatross? No more, man. They're dead. They're over. Like, they're actually over. Because <laughs> Free Riders. Someone made a remake of the game that you can replay with GamePad. Alright, but why would they do that? Now, I mean, that's cool and all, but why would you why would you spend time on that? Improving the controls on that game, I don't think it's going to make that game any better. Ow. That was quick. I really wanted that Kern. Ow. Well, the controls were a big problem in the game, yes, but the game was also extremely bare bones. Like, all of the... I don't even know if there was, like, a plot. But all the, all, like, the cutscenes of the game were just kind of, like... They were voiced. But then it was, it was, like, wasn't animated. It was just, like, still images. Really boring game in many different ways. Hmm. Well, just like Pokemon games, every couple of years, when a new so when a new game comes out and it's bad, uh, give it a couple of years and somebody will be there and start defending it. Calling it a misunderstood classic. Happens every fucking time. Every Pokemon game, man. Every Pokemon game. I'm pretty sure people are starting to do that with Gen 7. <laughs> Gen 7 is a misunderstood masterpiece, like, brother. <laughs> no, that game is pretty, uh... Pretty straightforward with how not great it is. Which is a huge shame. 
Don't worry, we'll get to Gen 8 eventually. Sword and Shield were masterpieces in disguise. Ahead of their time. There it is, the end of the game. You can't just eat those. But guess what, Mario? Breathe a sigh of relief because it'll be your last. Know why? Because this is finally the end. The end of you. Okay, that shot was pretty good until it wasn't. My power is gone, my empire is shrinking, my huge cake never goes slice. Fates had a lot of issues to it. Localization was a big issue to it for sure. I think, I just wonder what changed. They made a like, Awakening was great. Fates was supposed to follow up on that, yet Fates was not as well received as Awakening. I didn't really like the durability changes that much. And that wasn't because the weapons no longer broke. It's because there was no reason to ever use a silver weapon ever again. <laughs> I love watching the enemy beat the shit out of your knight with a silver weapon and eventually just have zero strength. So, but they did not stop trying. Also, yes, making the fucking uh, triple split for the game was a pretty stupid-ass idea. And the story... The story is terrible for that last one. The story isn't bad for the like birthright or conquest routes, but the story for the revolution, revelations route is dog water. Absolute dog water. Storybook ending. It's so beautiful. There it is. Home. I always thought we would meet again. Mama. I am Rosalina. I watch over and protect the cosmos. I'm waiting for you all. For all of you. When that evil monster took our star power, I was separated from my precious little one. But I knew we'd see each other again. Because. There is a force that binds us to find even time and space. Not even the laws of the universe can stop it. I know its gentle pull would prevail. I knew its gentle pull would prevail. It is the desire to be reunited with someone who is important to you. That pull is what brought us together. <sighs> yes. We have come through so much to meet again. This is not some mere whim of the stars. I am sure of that. Mario, thank you for returning this child to me. I will never forget you. This is a threat. Even when I someday become a star myself. I will never forget you, Mario. Never ever, I won't forget. So you better sleep with one eye open, buddy. Took your hat. Isn't it cool that Rosalina can like astral project like that? She can make herself huge. And she can make herself, like, not so huge. Ooh. 
So the little one was reunited with a special someone. Hmm. Took your hat, bro. And you too, pal, am I right? Tinky Winky. He's the purple one. Alright, you two are trying to get your back to your own planet. Mario now has a spacecraft. What's he gonna do with it? I don't know. Whoosh! <clears throat> Can I have my hat back? Welcome to the credits. Wow, isn't it beautiful? Space. It's kind of magical. Just staring at it. Lost in its colors. Wow. Alright, Chot. Well, I gotta let the credits run, of course. But, Galaxy 2 is not... Not over. I do gotta do the bonus world, and I am interested in doing the green stars. To do the perfect run, to do it properly, all 100% to. I wonder if these count for collection. Mario cannot die. What a shame. He cannot spin. <sighs> Good. Yeah. That's what you like to see. Jumping on this guy would hurt Mario. A lot. Like, a lot, a lot. Hello, Lava. This is not a very nice thing to do. Man, you know at the end of Odyssey, where Mario literally goes to the moon to rescue Peach, and then she turns him down, and then she just goes off and, and you know, travels around the kingdoms herself? I can't believe that shit. The things Mario does, and that's how he's treated, and that's when Bowsette happened. That's how it all began. Well, actually, it began with the Super Crown. But that scene, it all, it was a perfect storm. It was the perfect storm. <laughs> Bowsers. Consume. Consume. Itty bitty Bowsers. No. Don't leave Yoshi. If I leave Yoshi, he'll never come back. Hmm. Chad, that Super Crown was certainly an interesting fad, wasn't it? A very interesting fad. They gave us an item that turned Toadette into Peach. What do they think was gonna happen? Thank you so much for playing my game. Look at that. Look at that comet in the brack. You opened special world. Yep. Well, that's a good place as any to stop, I'd say. 
So now, I have 17 stars left. Oh, I have to feed a couple hungry Lumas. And then I gotta get nine, 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 nine star bolts. Okay. Yes. Yes. Anyway, chat. Yep, that's good. All done. Game saved. So, there will be more Galaxy 2. Uh, green stars after the rest of it. I will find some time, I suppose, to grind the star bits. Just for the sake of completion. But it's not going to be very fun. But I'll... I'll do it. For you, chat. Be because I'm a fool. But, for now... <gasps> Thanks for watching Mario Galaxy. <gasps> oh, God. <clears throat> and I'll see you next time I play it.